update. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento uh, talking about the mid-morning update here at TFNN, and we've got bifurcated markets, as uh, Basil Chapman would tell us. Uh, we had some pretty big action going on earlier in the day. We've got two of the stock indices up, the NASDAQ and the Russell. Dow Jones down about 100 and so, and the S&P down about 10 points. Not a big deal uh, going on over there. But other than that, folks, it's red everywhere. The foreign currencies are going lower, U.S. dollar going higher. Gold has hit our price objective of 382 down there at 1840, folks. The low has been 1839.30. You just can't make that up, and it probably won't last very long. But that's what we're looking at here uh, really early uh, early this morning. Uh, I'll be posting a chart here in just a moment because I need to talk to you about the same chart that we've been looking at uh, over the last few days. But our good friend Jim Bartoleone was kind enough to send us an update. This is the NASDAQ, as you can see, the NASDAQ banking index. It's a very bearish pattern. But also, if we take a look at what's going on in the NASDAQ 100 regular, you'll be able to see that we are looking at the exact same pattern that Mr. Gartley talked about in his book, Profits in the Stock Market. And there it is, folks. Uh, there's your 382 retracement there of the high that we made way back here. Uh, in December, of course, you remember that that topped in December, not in January. The other indices topped on January the 4th. And there's your ABCD pattern going exactly to the 382. And it's actually holding up relatively well at this high level. So we're, we'll find out in the next few days if it's going to be a continuation or not. We do know that if we break out to the upside, that it is a very, very bullish pattern if that's the case. But boy, folks, it's not easy when you see these 130-point swings intraday like we saw uh, in the uh, S&P yesterday. Uh, that was up and down. And then we had a uh, $3,000, uh, well, $1,800 up, $1,800 down, $1,800 $1, up in the NASDAQ. That, that itself was a $6,000 swing. So these are huge swings. And if you're not using stops, folks, uh, you're putting yourself at a great deal of risk. So let's uh, try to remember that stops are for protection, and that's why you should use them. If you don't use a stop, you're telling Mother Market that... 